He's Joey. And she's Hallie. And, and this, this is, is the 36th edition, edition of the EDS, EDS News. News. That's right, you heard it here. That's three, six. You better have a seat because this week we'll be talking about... In the halls, middle school and high school sports, senior projects, May events, four-star rating, better photography, golf gives back, senior class accomplishments, and what's hot. Don't touch that mouse. You'll find out what is hot and more. Stay tuned. Evansville Day School has recently received the honor of being named one of Indiana's four-star schools. This award recognizes that EDS has scored among the top 25 percentile in the state on ISTEP and on the ECA testing. EDS is also the only school in the area that has received this award since the program began. This May, there are many great events happening, including the 8th grade class trip to Holiday World and the senior dinner on the 23rd, field day for the high school on the 24th, field day for the middle school on the 28th, and a trip to Holiday World for the middle school on the 29th, and promotional assemblies on the 31st. But most important is the senior commencement at Shanklin Theater on the 24th. During commencement, the seniors give speeches, receive their diplomas, and give gifts to their teachers and the administration. Hope to see you there! Now for this week's edition of Middle School Sports. All the sports have ended for this year, but we are going to need people to come and play next year. Fall sports include boys and girls soccer and boys tennis. Pick a sport and get involved next fall. And now it's time for high school sports. You listen, I talk. In girls tennis, Gladney and Helen our number one doubles team lost in the second round sectional match against Wrights. Gladney and Helen advanced out of the first round, beating the team from Harrison 6-2, 6-3. Our girls tennis team showed great improvement this season. Graduating only one senior, the future looks bright for our girls tennis team. Sports awards night for high school boys golf girls tennis and track was held on Wednesday, May 22nd at 6 p.m. at day school. JV and varsity letters were passed out to members of our spring sports teams. Some of our seniors also received special awards for their career accomplishments. Alec Wishon, Sam Jordan, Jean Farrell, and Casey Phillips received the head of school award. This award recognizes students who have maintained a 3.5 GPA and received six varsity letters during their EDS career. Alec Wishon, Jean Farrell, Casey Phillips, and Nathan Smith received the Athletic Director's Award. This award recognizes students who have earned at least eight varsity letters during their career at EDS. Finally, Sam Jordan and Jean Farrell received the Triple A Award. This award is given to a senior boy and girl who displays excellence and attitude, athletics, and academics. Congratulations to all of the award winners. That's it for High School Sports this week. See you next year. The seniors return today to present their projects to the high school and the faculty. Here's Dr. Gibson with more information. Senior projects are something that's very unique to Evansville Day School. Um, the seniors get to take advantage of a two-week internship at the end of their year, right before they graduate, and they do this rather than taking finals um, second semester. So the students spend um, a lot of the school year researching and uh, approaching different professionals in the field that they are interested in. And uh, then usually shadow one to two professionals over their two week period of time uh, for the, in the entire day for two weeks. So they were actually working their shift. So this year uh, the students have selected um, attorneys. They're, they're at attorney's offices. Um, we have one with the Evansville Otters. They're at engineering firms, uh, they are at Vectran, they're on pediatric units, they're with Sabic uh, museums. So this is a very uh, eclectic year in terms of the kids choosing the, these opportunities. They come back then uh, usually with um, a real feel for what those careers are about. And that confirms for them that yes, they are really going into the correct major or maybe um, they need to consider something else it's a good opportunity. Now it's time for this week's unfathomable edition of In the Halls, Woo for EDS students on the hot seat. A rooster laid an egg on a barn roof. Which way did it roll? Whichever side the yolk is on. 
on a barn rope, which way did it roll? Downward. Roosters don't lay eggs, so we didn't fall. Roosters don't lay eggs. How many legs does an elephant have if you call the trunk a leg? Five. Well, it would be four still, you're just calling the trunk a leg. Um, well, even if you called it a leg, it still wouldn't be a leg, so four. If you call the trunk a leg? Five. If there are six apples and you take four, how many do you have? Two. Oh wait, no four. Well, it depends. Are the other two apples mine? Two. Four. What gets wetter and wetter as it dries? I don't know. Alcohol. Do you here real quick. Sorry. A cloud. Mr. Weed. Water. I don't know. <laughs> Ice. What are your summer plans? Um, I don't know. Summer basketball and other than that, I haven't really thought about anything. Work. Uh, try and do everything possible. I don't know. Uh, academic adventures. Now for the final edition of What's Hot, Summer! This summer, there are many significant events. There are many movies and concerts to look into. Fast and Furious 6, Now You See Me, and The Purge are just a few of the movies coming out. Alice in Chains, Lamb of God, and We're Al Yankovic are all coming to Evansville this summer as well. If you are interested in any of these concerts, visit StubHub.com for tickets. Be sure to stay cool and have fun this summer. This week, Vineyard Photography of Newburgh will be at commencement on May 24th. At Shanklin Theater between 5.30 and 6.30, pictures by Vineyard Photography will be taken. At exactly 6.30, the group photo of the class of 2013 and the class of 2017 will be taken. All photos will be posted on Vineyard Photography's website, www.858 dash 9537.com. Any questions? You can call Bennett Photography at 858-9537 or contact Miss LaGrange, the yearbook advisor. At Victoria National Golf Course, an official event of the PGA Tour called the United Leasing Championship will be held from June 24th through June the 30th. The United Leasing Championship donates their ticket sales to a local charity that helps promote the tournament. When you buy your ticket, you can help EDS by going to www.unitedleasingchampionship.com and select Evansville Day School from the drop-down menu of charitable options. This will ensure that your purchase will help benefit EDS. Tickets would make a great Father's Day gift. Dads do like golf! Congratulations are in order for Day School's graduating class of 2013. The class has earned merit awards for college in the amount of $3,737,144. This is an average scholarship total of $207,600 per graduate. 83% were accepted into their first choice school. The graduates will matriculate to Aurora, Bates, Bellarmine, Claflin, Grinnell, Indiana, Northwestern, Purdue, Rose, SMU, SUNY, and USI. On the SAT, our seniors scored over 100 points above the national average in critical reading and writing, and scored 93 points above the national average in math. Congratulations to our seniors for their accomplishments and representing EDS exceptionally well. That's it for this week's edition of the EDS News. See you next week! Wait! See you next year!